Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have a whip and chat. If you do not know what a whip and chat is, that is when I will be pulling out my current whip, WIP, work in progress, and you can pull out whatever it is that you are working on. I am currently working on, it feels like I've been eternally working on this, um, the Nightmare for Alice from Bella Safina. If you guys are interested in seeing the unboxing for that, I will link that up in the eye. Um, I don't have that much left. I have this little section right here that's sort of in frame. Some of it's in frame, some of it's not in frame. And then directly below it, I just have a small strip that's probably five inches high that goes across. And that's it. So I'm hoping to complete this soon-ish. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's all be friends. Uh, if you've been here before, hi, welcome. Whoop, whoop. So I'm going to be swapping through, per usual, a boatload of pens. If there's any specific ones that you guys want more details on, let me know down below. Um, I wanted to record this earlier today, but... Uh, forgot to charge my tablet. Well, I didn't realize my cha my tablet needed charging, so I forgot to charge it. <laughs> uh, I would also like to state that we are in that time of year here where I like to burn some candles while I work. And subsequently, two days in a row now, I have forgotten about that after I got my kiddo up. And I'm like, oh, crap. And then I had to run downstairs and then run back upstairs. And uh, today, you guys... This is just me boasting, because if you've been around for a little bit, you know I have not felt well for, let's just say, an excessive amount of time to <laughs> to shorten to shorten the conversations, because I know I'm going to get it. I have, like, three pens that I need to change the wax in, and I'm going to do this now before I get real involved and then go, oh, crap, I've changed the wax. Um, so, don't mind me. Um, this is, like, half of a broken like the plastic tweezers. These come with a lot of like specialty drill kind of kits. These are perfect for digging into uh, your your brass tips or your stainless steel tips because they don't scratch at all. Um, the little wax that I am using here is the Snow Fairy sample that I got from Izzy. I just unboxed a uh, couple of her waxes as well as a couple other Alice in a Winter Wonderland sponsor prizes. Or prizes. Sponsor. Sponsors? <laughs> I didn't think of the word. Um, products from people who are sponsoring the event. For, I guess, a lack of better description. I will link that up in the eye. Um, if you guys did not see that. I am quite enjoying this so far. I have come to the conclusion. I'm not really meant for a lot of the specialty waxes that are out there and I'm totally doing this out of frame so I apologize if anyone's like I want to see how you loaded the pen it's really nothing exciting I'm just making sure I get some in and then any extra I'm pressing on the side and uh you can press it against a flat surface a drill whatever it is so this is super cute you guys this is just like a little gingerbread man one um her wax is on the softer side and I've come to the conclusion like I've got that um I'm just gonna grab a couple things that I have here this is the Swax from Abigail Marie this is her brain I also have her dreidel I didn't use this one that much before I got then I got the dreidel and the scent of that has just been driving me wild like in the best way these are similar like they're both a softer kind of wax I feel like patty wax is a more firm wax and it to me, is much stickier. Um, I've never been able to get patty wax to work, which is why I have like this. This has probably been sitting on my desk for over a year. We're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about it. We don't talk about patty wax. Um, if anyone's like, <gasps> "What's your problem with patty wax?" It was just my reference to Bruno. And if you don't know, what I'm talking about shame on you. Um, I'm talking about Encanto. Which I have personally not seen, but apparently my husband and daughter did watch it. I think, anyway, total tangent, per usual. So what I was trying to say is that um, I ran down, I ran up two flights of stairs and then ran back down two flights of stairs to blow out said candle earlier today. And I just have to say, 
other than like the me being out of shape stuff, which is not like new stuff. I've, I've been out of shape for decades. <laughs> uh, I actually was able to go up and down the stairs without feeling like, oh my gosh, my, my chest is going to collapse, which is the first time in a long time. So I'm hoping that this is a sign that I'm starting to feel better. For everyone who keeps messaging me going, oh my god, you sound like you're doing so much better. Or how are you feeling? Blah, blah, blah. I've had like the world's crappiest string of luck. I just, between, I had COVID. If you guys have been here before, you're probably like, okay, we're tired of hearing this. I got, I, I, I had COVID right after Christmas, like literally the day after Christmas. And, um, I'm recording this on February 6th, I think. Um, and today is the first day since that, that I haven't felt super crappy. So my ear, I've had an ear infection for like, I think two and a half weeks at this point. I'm just, I'm over it, you guys. I am over it. So, I hope that you guys had a lovely week. I'm going to regale you with tales of fun and knock your socks off. And No, not really. I'm just going to tell you about my week. Uh, how is there a drill in my washi tape? You guys, I'm so excited. I've been talking to some of our event sponsors and um, narrowing down what we will be giving away as prizes, and I cannot wait to share with you guys. So, um, I'm trying to figure out. Normally, I have my one other stand, like, over here. But if I have it over there, then I keep reaching across the screen. So, I'm going to hope that me putting it right next to me with my water bottle right here is not a bad idea. Oops, sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure it's a terrible idea, but we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. <sighs> Holy crap, how many minutes? I'm like seven minutes into this video and I've talked about nothing, nothing exciting. If you're still here, shout out to you. <laughs> uh, you guys, I, it's, it, per usual, it's been a week. Sunday, uh, it was just one of those days, like, it was just a good day. Everything seemed to go our way. It, it was a good day. And... The bean was super loving. Um, that's what I call my kid. I don't know if I've ever called her that on here. Um, what nicknames do you call your kids? Or grandkids? Or nieces, nephews, whoever. Because, honestly, like, my kid's name is Briar. And I feel like I never call her Briar. Most of the time, I think we call her Bean or Beano Machino. But let me tell you, when she was real little, she had some more questionable... Uh, nicknames. <laughs> I think my favorite was probably Slobbery Blobbery. <laughs> my husband just walked in the room. Say hi, husband. Hello. Um, okay, so I have a tiny little skull. So there's probably okay, like an inch. Haha, ha, there's probably like an inch off camera that you guys can't see. I can't push my camera any further to the left. So we're just going to roll with it here. And, uh, you know. Hope and pray for, I don't know. I don't know what we're hoping and praying for. What are you hoping and praying for, people? Let me know. Um, anyway, so Sunday was just a really good day. She just listened to, like, literally everything, which we were like, uh, the other shoe is going to drop. And, I mean, it did. But it was nice to have, like, one really good day, you know? Why? Okay. So I enjoy this tray, but I will say... This tray is from Nix's Notions. I have this one, and then I have that beast tray over here. Um, this one lines up much better with the rounds than the large one. Like, my large one, it clumps. They get stuck. Like, there's a lot of these that just won't tap down. And they just get stuck. And I don't know. I'm not going to try to file it, but I'm just saying. So, Monday... We had our head teacher, and so if you guys looked at my calendar, you would see I had a session for her head teacher, which was a makeup from the previous week because she, her kid had a close contact at school, 
So she wasn't doing sessions and then her mother-in-law got sick or whoever got Somebody got sick and, you know, everybody was just like waiting to figure out what's going on. Totally understand. This is the world we live in. Cool. Um, but then I had sessions written down on my calendar for the 7th, the 14th, the 21st. And I only see her other providers once a month now. But apparently we had booked the schedule and then they, I don't know if they changed it or they forgot it was a school holiday. Why our school is off on Valentine's Day, I have no idea. Um, the following week, I understand because it's President's Day, but nobody seemed to realize it. So I have all these sessions that say makeup session, and I didn't know which one was actually the real makeup session. So spoiler alert, that day was a makeup session, and then tomorrow is our session for everything else. Well, it'll be, yeah, anyway. Um, so we had our head teacher and she came over. They played this board game. It had something to do with like food. I don't even know. And she was talking and she's like, oh, I totally made up the rule. <laughs> I'm like, look, as long as you're consistent and you teach all the kids how to play and they all play the same way, like, sure, why not? Do you, you know? Um, a lot of it is to help my daughter work on like social language skills where, She'll express that it is my turn or your turn or um, who's next, things like that, because uh, she was having difficulty just using the right, I don't want to say terminology, but the right phrasing and would be saying, um, it, it's my turn when it was somebody else's turn and not in like a, I'm a little kid and I want it to be my turn, but not realizing there's a difference between yours and mine or who yours and mine belongs to. Um, okay, I am, I feel like maybe I just took on a little bit too large of a section because I feel like everything is shifted. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you know, you guys are sticking in for this. I got it. I got to say you're, you're the real MVPs, not me. Because I am totally a mess. But I have been so rambly. And it's like, I mean, you guys are used to, <laughs> you're used to this. If this is your first Whip and Chat and you're like, holy moly. Yeah, I'm always like this, you guys. I'm all over the place. Um, my husband and I were talking today, totally off topic, about how um, we really just, we independently need time away from like, the chaos that is our house and our day-to-day -day life. But, like, going to hang out with a friend over my daughter's nap or after my daughter goes to sleep going to crochet group, like, that's not enough. But the problem is we don't have babysitters. And um, my brother-in-law has watched Briar for us on my birthday. And he has told us plenty of times, like, she's more than welcome to come stay here. You know, not, like... Overnight or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure he would if we asked, but that I'm not, I'm personally, I'm not there. I am not, I am not there. <laughs> uh, it's not the sleeping over. <laughs> That's the issue. It's like the other 18 hours of the day or whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, so, um, totally lost my train of thought here. Oh, my brother in law. So the problem is this, like, this is like how family dynamics work, and it's so annoying so annoying if we have her go visit her aunt and uncle again but we don't ask his mom who is not physically capable of watching briar on her own contrary to her beliefs um if she finds out that we've been asking his brother to watch her and we never once even asked her like, it's gonna go down, you guys. Um, and so, for, like, everybody's sake, we're like, Ugh. So it sucks, because we keep having to, like, put ourselves on the back burner. Because we don't want to piss other people off. And it's super annoying. And I just wanted to put that, put that out there into the universe. And, um, I just realized now, like, she doesn't really watch my videos. So I'm praying that, like, this isn't the one she decides to watch. So, um, if you're listening, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, also, totally random fact, my husband thinks it's hilarious when I'm, if, when I'm editing my videos, I usually play it back in, like, almost double speed, and any time that I laugh with it sped up, he just, he cracks up because he thinks it's hilarious. I told him for his birthday I'm gonna make a compilation of just me laughing like a chipmunk. 
Um, which, by the way, his birthday was <laughs> December, so he's 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 got ten more months <laughs> to get it. So <laughs> anyway, so we had her session. Um, they made up the rules. They had a really good time, and it's so crazy. Like she's noticing the changes in my daughter's <sighs> language skills. <laughs> We are noticing a ton of change in her language skills. And I was just looking back at, um, like, Google Photos will send you, you're like, hey, we put together this little video from a year ago or whatever it is. And just how much she's grown and changed like in the last year alone. It's just, it's just it blows my mind. Like, I was watching a little video of her. I can't remember if it was from one or two years ago. But I was watching it this morning, and I was like... I think it was two years ago. Literally, the only word I understood out of the whole conversation that she said was chicken. And also, that's the only word my husband understood. And this happens to us a lot, where people... I think this is a very common thing with, like, children in general. Parents, other adults will go, What did she say? Or what did he say? Or what did they say? And they look to the parents to... Translate... Because typically the parents understand their kids better than other people do. But I can't tell you how many times that people will look to us and be like, what did she say? And I'm like, shoot, I have no idea. Um, and a lot of times we just kind of go with it. We're like, uh-huh, yep, good to know. And she's like, uh -huh. Now, sometimes she does, which I know a lot of kids do this, like they make up words and they're real adamant that they're real words. Like she'll always talk about the Bibu and the Zizu. No idea. No idea. If anyone knows what the Bibu in the Zizu is, <laughs> let me know down below. <laughs> anyway, so Monday, I was like, okay, she had a really great day the, like, the day before, and I really wanted to, not like reward her, but I wanted to do something fun as kind of like a way for us to all have that moment you know, the deep breath moment. Let's have fun. Let's let loose. Let's... I have so much, like, random trash in this kit. It's so weird. <laughs> um, listen, I don't know if where you live, like, the world is shut down on Mondays, but, like, I live in a place where most restaurants close early in general, but, like, oh, my God, God forbid you want dinner after 6 p.m. on a Sunday. And then every pizza place Italian restaurant is closed on Monday okay sure I get that but like legit I looked into bowling didn't open till like five or six um I wanted to go to another like arcade didn't open till I don't think they were even open at all on Monday I looked into all these different things and I could not believe that there were that many activities closed on Mondays so I want to take her to the trampoline park. I thought that'd be good. Let her bounce out her energy. So there's two different trampoline parks. We have a Sky Zone, which is like 35, 40 minutes away. But I prefer that one. It's also like three times the price. Let's just... um, be because they have a very large toddler area. But then she's pretty much able to go anywhere else in the whole place. Whereas uh, Get Air has a very small toddler area. And then a whole bunch of places they can't go. But then they have this giant structure in the middle that has, like, tube slides and things they can climb on. And that's great. But I would say at least 50% of that play structure, the it's impeded. Your vision is impeded. Like, I can't see where my kid is until she comes to the ground. And listen, I'm not, you know, worried that someone's going to run off with my kid. But I want to make sure that a bigger kid isn't pushing her out of the way or that if my kid falls or gets hurt or whatever that I can see her. Um, it is a little crazy to me that they have not just one, but two play structures right dab in the middle that you have almost no sight of your kids in. And yes, it's an open play thing, but the way they have it with all the tubes and the slides and the netting, it's very, very hard. Like you cannot see, is it three stories, yes. three levels? That second level, you're done. You can't see anything on that second level. And you can only see, like, corners of the third level and then little bits of the bottom level. Um, and it, it's, as a parent, it's frustrating because I want to keep an eye on my kid. But 
I can't when I can't see There's her. So many times where one of us goes, I don't see her, and we're like, she's right there on the bottle. Yeah, and like the whole time we're wandering, we're walking around because if I can't see her on the left side, Brian's going to the right side or whatever it is, and. You know, not that I want to sit there and ignore my kid for an hour, but I'd like to be able to, like, sit and enjoy myself as well. Not that I'm out there jumping. Um, and the last time we were there, they tried to charge me. They did charge me to, like, watch my kid, and I thought it was ridiculous. Um, this time, they did not. It was weird. I couldn't buy an hour ticket online, and I called the phone number, and I was, what, like, 15th in line? I was like, this is ridiculous. And I talked to the woman at the front desk when I got there. She's like, oh, by the way, we don't we don't take the calls at all. She's like, that's not us. That's our call center. And I'm like, what a surprise. And the guy's like, I'm looking at it right here on the website. And I'm like, I'm telling you, it's not there. The girl that worked at the front desk, she's like, I can't tell you how many times we've had issues where it shows up on our end, but it doesn't show up on the mobile version or it doesn't show up for customers. And I'm like, well, now I feel a lot better because, you know, your customer service guy who's not even here, is telling me, it's there, I see it, you're just doing something wrong, and I'm like, cool, wait, I'm really glad I waited like 35 minutes for someone to answer the phone, but we did that, and then we went over to um, Mission, it's right there, and your, your little tiny human, she ate an entire pork slider, which, it's so funny, I don't know if they have the option or not. But every time we order her the sliders, she doesn't want to eat the bread. But I know my luck. If I said, can you just put, like, the scoops of meat on the plate? She'd be like, where's the bread? Because that is 100% my luck. And that is how my daughter functions. Okay, I'm going to move my little trash can over so I don't have to keep... You guys, look at the amount of trash in here. For a round kit. It's kind of mind-blowing. No? Um... But it was super fun. And then we came home and she's like, Mommy, can you cuddle with me? And I wasn't sure if it was her way of trying to, like, get out of a nap or just be super cute. Or if she really just wanted to cuddle with Mommy. Because, you know, I'd like to think that she's sweet and innocent. But I, I know her better. <laughs> so I did. I laid with her for a few minutes. And, um... Man, the day that she doesn't want to snuggle with us anymore is going to be... Such a sad day. That's part of our routine. I don't know if I've talked about that, but she takes reflux meds in the morning and at night. And so in the morning, we have her take her meds and then she crawls into our room, into our bed and like snuggles. And um, a lot of times we'll ask Google what the animal of the day is and just hang out because she can't have anything to eat or drink within like 15 minutes of her taking her meds. So we do that and... Then we'll go downstairs and have breakfast and do all that fun stuff. And, uh, so the day she doesn't want to do that anymore, I'll be sad. But, um, when she was napping, we unfortunately <laughs> discovered my daughter is tall enough now to reach the next drawer in her room. And she emptied out the contents of said drawer and I had this like vinyl wall hanging that I got forever ago. I probably got it when she was a newborn or an infant. My daughter's bedroom is, oh, the places you'll go themed from Dr. Seuss. Uh, if anyone missed the story about we never found out what the sex of our baby was uh, by choice, well, by my choice, not necessarily my husband's choice. And um, we wanted to set the nursery up in a neutral manner. So her walls are yellow. The decor is yellow and green. And it has a lot of like Dr. Seuss quotes. And things like that. And so uh, I had gotten this vinyl wall cling that said, oh, the places you'll go. And we didn't want to do it over her crib because we thought when we converted it to a bed we were going to move it and we didn't want to like put it up on the wall and then have to like paint over it well it doesn't matter she got her hands on it she emptied the entire thing pulled all of the letters off one by one and stacked them all on top of each other i was like are you kidding me listen i'm gonna make a bold statement here i know that a lot of people are like listen 310 310 310 310 is where you gotta look 
see the trash. I'm telling you, I have more issues with like grays and off whites, it seems like recently. And I don't know if they're trying to make it like the new 310, but I swear I get so much trash in grays and off whites and um, like trash, 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 like just little shards of. Oh. And like normally I don't pick it out as I like uh, until it's in my way. That's a lot. Especially for a round. That's just kind of what I'm... I'm intrigued to see what my final thoughts will be on this video. But she uh, pulled all the stickers off and I was super annoyed. We've been talking a lot about <coughs> transitioning her room to like a big girl room. And by that I mean changing the decor to something that she has chosen, which, like, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Because, like, if you've ever met a small child, what they tell you at 9 o'clock in the morning might not even be the same thing they're interested in by, like, 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> not just how she wants her room decorated, the colors, the decor. So we were talking about getting a fat head. If you don't know what fat head is, they're, like, life-size magnets you just put on the wall. They're incredibly expensive, but I think that they're expensive because they're like, we know this is easier than you re-wallpapering or repainting your kid's wall when you decide to decorate it as all Minnie Mouse and a week later she decides she wants it to be My Little Pony. I would love for her room not to be character driven, but, you know, who am I kidding? She's four. That's like the thing in her life. Um... It's not like I'm gonna be like, do you want portraits of your mother all over your wall? <laughs> Although, if I said that, she she might say yes. Not that I have, like, a collection of portraits of myself. Um, this is the most random whip and chat, I feel. Um, and I hope you're all enjoying it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got, I sat down and I filmed a video, so I was very proud of myself. I'm hoping to film. I keep saying I have all these ideas of things that I want to film. Um, if there is ever a diamond painting company that you would like me to check out or you'd like to see me work on, please let me know. You can let me know down below. You can send me a message on Instagram. I have, uh, I put up a post in my stories, which if you guys, um, haven't seen, I had to succumb to the fact that I was going to lose all of my reels and just log out and uninstall and see if that worked. It did work. I don't know if that's the reason it worked, but it worked. And I'm, you know, upset that I lost hours worth of work, but I am happier that now I get to, you know, post and communicate with you guys again, because that was very frustrating feeling like every couple days I was coming up and, and sharing something. And, um, so total tangent per usual, but, um, I put something in my stories and I got, at the time of this filming, I had three responses. One was, I have an earth designs, which I have already done. And I have an entire playlist. And if you are interested in seeing how I converted a heaven and earth designs cross stitch to a blank canvas, I will link that one up for you in the eye. Um, I feel like there are a lot of people doing that right now. Uh, or discussing that in the community, you know, uh, so there's, I guess, a lot of resources out there if that's your thing. Um, because of the amount of diamond paintings that I have in my sash and how <laughs> crappy of a foot this year has started on, I'm not looking to do another one right now. But maybe one day in the future I would. Because I did I did learn a lot going through that process. And then the other one that was recommended was DIY Moonshop. Now, I have unboxed a DIY Moonshop kit. And I will leave that one for you up in the eye um, if you are interested. However, I have not worked on it. I'm going to be honest with you. Part of me was planning on working on it as my second or third canvas for the event. But that was all in my mind before I got sick. And then... I just didn't have time, effort, or energy. Um, for anyone who is curious, the event ends February 14th at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. If you live in a different time zone, you're not sure what that is, just ask Google. It's the easiest way to figure it out. So, 
you can start at any time during the event. Like, you could literally start on the last day if you so choose. So, if you're somebody who can finish a canvas in a short amount of time, and you are like, oh, man, I didn't get a chance to start. Like, you could start. If you're somebody who wants to start their Alice in Wonderland canvas, but you know you have no intention of finishing it, go ahead and start. You can start at any time during the event. And, um... There's no cutoff. So just, I will put up a post on, at 1159, excuse me, on February 14th. Uh, and it'll say, like, the end or stop or anything like that. So anything that is posted after that, I will know from, like, the host perspective, whatever, you know, that that was submitted after the event ended. Um, I will still continue to interact with your post, even if it's not up until February 14th. So... Uh, please feel free to come and join us. I know there are some people out there that, you know, they ordered a canvas and didn't come in until later, but please do not feel like you cannot participate. I do plan uh, on hosting this again next year. This is my second annual, I guess, at this point. So I definitely plan on doing it again. Again, please come join us. So, you know, all over the place. So the next day... Tuesday, we went ice skating. There were a lot of kids this week. A lot of kids. Um, and I've been warned it's just going to get worse as the Olympics go on because more kids are being exposed to the sport. So they want to sign up. There was a little girl in our, in our class who I could not believe that it was the first time on skates. But then I found out later, like, she was significantly older. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize. And I didn't realize that. Like, our classes, I think it's supposed to be up to seven but I don't know how strict they are, but I can't imagine there are that many kids that are seven or older joining this class because it's Tuesday morning and most kids, unless they homeschool, are in a classroom at that time. So uh, we did that. And then Briar actually was in the penalty box and, and <laughs> her coach actually texted me today. But she had said to me, that Briar put herself in the penalty box and it was because she wasn't listening. <laughs> like, I'm, glad, I'm glad she listens and responds to you, but not to us. Like us, I'm like, are you listening? And she's like, now. <laughs> like she's such a punk. But um, afterwards, her assistant coach was like, do you like pretzels? And Briar's eyes got huge and she gave her um, some, you know, like hard pretzels. And Briar was just like chowing down. And I was like, how is this kid like... Usually she says she wants to go get lunch as soon as we're off the ice. But she never, ever, ever gets off the ice and is like, I'm hungry. I want a snack. Like, she's just like, it. I'm glad that they were given to her. And, like, she chowed down, you guys. Um, and then we did go get lunch. But we ended up going over to Target because she had eaten all those pretzels. And I knew she wasn't super, super hungry. I grabbed a couple more little figures from the dollar spot i love that we are now in the phase of life where she's naming things names instead of like the puppy being named puppy or the pony being named pony so she grabbed a little dragon and they're both i would say like two inches three inches she grabbed a puppy not a puppy a dragon and a pony and she named the pony um pinky because it reminded her of pinkie pie from my Little Ponies, very original. Um, and then the dragon was a little blue dragon, so she named it Sapphire because it looked like the little blue sapphire plush that she had gotten previously. Um, and I, you know, like, I can't fault her for being like, girl, why don't you name it something that doesn't already, you don't already have a name. But I'm not going to say for that creativity. But it, it is funny because she's like, I'm going to name this, and then, you know, the momentum builds, and then you're like, oh, and she's like, Pinky. <laughs> like, all right, you know, you're cute. Um, and then we went over to lunch. So we went over to Friendly's, and my child, she can't find the thing that's directly in front of her, but she can remember, like, what she did a year ago. So we went over to Friendly's. So the Friendly's is in the same parking lot as the Target. So there's a couple restaurants that we tend to go to. Um, and there's two targets. One of them is this one. And then one of them is the one that's over by mission. So a lot of times if we're going to that target, we'll end up at mission because that's one of our restaurants. We know she's going to eat 
we're going to enjoy our meal, like things like that. So, um, we went over and she's like, last time I was here, I didn't listen. Now, mind you, we were there with my mother-in-law and Briar is right. She very much did not listen the last time we were there. It was like, we had to take her outside. Kind of, It was a very draining time the last time we were there. They had a TV on. It had PBS Kids on. There was no sound. And this dino, I think it's called Dino Train. We've actually attempted to watch it with her like before and she had no interest. But clearly now she's more into it. And she just sat there and was like staring at it. And I said to my husband, I think, I think if we try, we might be able to distract her enough where we could give her food and she's just going to eat and not really pay attention. I was right. So we gave her, she ordered cheeseburger sliders. She was very excited. Um, juice. And then what did she get on the side? I don't even know if I remember. But anyway, she was sitting there and she was so distracted and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna let it go. And like, if you guys are new here, we don't do TV with her and not because we're super strict, no screen time kind of parents, but because my child has a really hard time transitioning out of that into, excuse me, anything else. And, um, like she, like our house could be on fire and she wouldn't even notice. So she, she's definitely a little bit better with that aspect of it now like the distraction aspect of it but she still has terrible transition out of it anyway um i was right so she ate the burger and then i was like if you eat the burger what ice cream do you want like you can pick and she's like "Ooh," she's like i want the purple ice cream with the m&ms and i'm like all right kid you got it babe like let's do it <laughs> and she did and she's sitting there like going to town just chowing down eating enjoying herself eat, drink, be merry. Meanwhile, this older gentleman gets sat like two tables behind us and she seats him and she said, can I take your drink order a while? And he's like, no. And you could just hear like the hesitation in her. And he's like, I don't know what you have here. Now, listen, I understand if you're planning on purchasing a cocktail, for example, that you'd like to look at a cocktail menu. But typically when you're at a restaurant, especially a family friendly restaurant, like the main question is it Coke or Pepsi products? You know, you, did you think that Friendly's was going to have this over the top, one of a kind or like a whole bar menu. beverage that they were going to like have? And so you could tell like the waitress was totally like taken aback by it. And she's like, oh, okay. She was very sweet about it. Um, and then when she came back after he had time to look at the menu, do you guys want to? Take a guess what you think he ordered. It was water. <laughs> and I am sitting there dying in my in my seat because I'm laughing. I'm like, are you serious? Like this, you gave the waitress a bit of an attitude about not knowing what they had, and you literally ordered water. Water to drink. Um, if anyone is actually watching this, I am putting down some crystals. So you may see these, this is Crystal 5200, you guys, which I don't know how else to describe this other than like, it. it's like mirrored. Um, 5200 is white. These are very like clear mirrored. I love them. I love them. Um, they give off such a different sheen and brightness than um, actual metallic silver drills, but... Anyway, um, and then, like, when the waitress came to take their order, the guy was like, does this come with french fries? And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, you guys are at Friendly's. Like, if you don't know, you can read the menu or you can ask the waitress. And literally everyone at the table ordered the same thing. I'm pretty sure it was burger and fries. I couldn't hear what the main part of it was, but I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this guy. Uh, but it made me laugh. And I actually told the waitress, she took really good care of us. I let her know on her way out. I was like, look, that may have been the most entertaining interaction. 
And she's like, I had to go into the kitchen and talk to somebody because, like, I was losing it. And I, I was like, oh, I believe it because, you guys, I really think that this guy thought there was going to be some, like, magical drink that Friendly's had that nobody else has. Now, mind you, they have those, like, crazy milkshakes that are enough for, like, three people um, or more, I guess. But, um, you know, that's not what he ordered. He ordered some water. <sighs> And then I actually went to my crochet group and that was the first time I had been to crochet group since before Christmas. You guys, before Christmas. I was excited to go um, and I don't know, I had mixed feelings while I was there. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I also haven't really been motivated to crochet, which is super weird because I really, really enjoy it. Um, and the project that I'm working on, I feel like I've been working on forever. And it's not even like a long term kind of project. It's just one of those things like I need to keep measuring it on my kid to see how it lays. And I keep thinking, oh, yeah, I got it. I'm good. And then I put it on her and I'm like, oh, I'm not good. I need to. I need to add some more. Um, I don't know why this particular star is not looking as nice as I would like it to. So, I, uh, I've been replacing, like, the green ones are easy. Like, if you're looking at this, oh, I did not mean to do that. This green heart, for example, like, you can see, okay, this green, let's replace it with the green. But because the background color where I'm replacing and putting the um, stars in is like different shades of gray, sometimes it's hard to tell like what is supposed to be star and what is supposed to stay background. Um, these are definitely not that problematic. I just wanted to point that out, <laughs> you guys. <sighs> so Wednesday was a lazy day. I couldn't believe my ear was still bothering me at that point. Um, honestly, today is the first day that, like, I can say, like, my ear has not been, like, really, really bothering me. But I did another round of peroxide. Listen, if you are grossed out by earwax stuff, just fast forward by, like, a minute or two. Um, if you're super into it, uh, come listen to my story. So, I use peroxide. Uh, I do not like peroxide or um, Debrox, which I know they both have the same active ingredients in. It literally makes my skin crawl. And so the ear that's behind the ear, the skin that's behind my ear, I will literally like pull at and poke at because I can't scratch the inside of my ear when I have the drops in. It irritates me. So I think it sends me into like a sensory overload to be completely honest with you, which I've been dealing with a lot of recently, like a lot. Um, but I, uh, I hate it. Like I actually hate doing these and I guess I did a pretty good round because like when I flushed my ear I was like ew what's this dirt all over my sink and then I realized oh my god that's wax so I tried flushing it out I did a couple days um a couple rounds and I definitely think that helped and I you know I was looking into CVS apparently I don't know if this is like nationwide or what but CVS minute clinics have certain ones where they will like flush your ears for you and I was hoping that if I went somewhere that wasn't my bathroom that they would maybe use something that didn't bother me the same way that the Debrox and the peroxide but you guys it's between a hundred and a hundred and fifty dollars a hundred and fifty dollars to flush my ears by a CVS minute clinic sorry if you're wearing earbuds I probably just got super loud all up in your ear and I do apologize but guys, $150. Um, total side note, I purchased like an ear flush kit from Walmart when we did our Walmart Plus order for this week. And 100% I only purchased the refill. So now I'm like, do I buy the original kit and hang on to this? Or do I just return the whole thing? Because, you know, I don't know. Total side note. But, um... That's it. Uh, then we got our new masks, which we honestly have not even had a chance to wear 
if anybody missed me talking about this, I can't remember if I talked about it in a video or not, or if it was just a, like my stories on Instagram. I got these masks. They're from a company called Gata. It's G-A-T-A. And they are silicone masks that have uh, like the cage style. So it, it pulls it away from like your nose and your mouth. Whereas if you're wearing like a cloth mask or a disposable mask, like they'll, if you're breathing really heavy, they'll, they'll suck in. Um, and then they have the KN95 filters. So I had actually seen somebody wearing these at Target one day and I stopped them and I was like, I need to ask you about these masks. And they were like, these are by far the most comfortable masks we've ever worn. Now, my husband and I wear our masks for two main reasons. One, we need to be a good example for our child if we're going to encourage and enforce that she wears a mask and then we don't wear one that sends you know a little bit of a different message to her and then the other reason is i just don't trust people period period and uh so i got all three of us masks and because of the type of silicone they are you can sanitize them stove top microwave dishwasher which is fantastic because there's i can't tell you how many times i'll go to grab a mask from like the car for me for my daughter whatever my husband has a couple like black masks and then he we have a, a pack of disposables in the car um these are also supposed to be great for people who wear glasses and my husband wears glasses all the time although if you ask briar she'll tell you that daddy wears sunglasses <laughs> that's the new thing like every day she's like daddy i like your sunglasses he's like they're just glasses they're not even transitions lens you guys like they're literally just eyeglasses um and the only time she ever sees daddy without glasses is when she comes into our bedroom in the morning and daddy is still laying in bed and isn't like up in the room doing stuff um so i'm excited to try these masks but um we got those and then I got a set of loop earbuds. I have not tried them out yet. I really need to. Like when I'm telling you guys, like I freaked out the one day because my husband was watching a video. My daughter was like rambling like crazy. The music was playing on the Google and then something else is also in the background. And I was like, there is too much noise. I'm having trouble deciphering who's communicating with me what's outside noise what's background noise normally background noise doesn't bother me like I literally thought my brain was going to explode I had to turn off the music I told my kid just stop talking which if you've ever told a child to stop talking they start talking a thousand times more and I was just like Briar I need a minute like mommy's mommy's brain hurts and she's just looking at me and I'm like so I'm I got these in hopes because they they don't block everything out they are just to help like reduce the excess noise so we will see um they come very highly recommended i actually got two different kinds because i wasn't sure which one i wanted um and i figure that i'm sure there's a time in my life where i will need one that blocks out more than just background noise um but it's very hard to explain especially to briar like how i'm feeling in that moment because she doesn't understand that how I'm reacting is different than how she's reacting or how daddy's reacting because everybody is wired differently. But it is, it has been hard, you guys. Like, when I tell you, I have never had, like, full sensory overloads the way I've been having them recently. And I think part of it is because, like, my husband and I and my daughter are always... On top of each other all the time. Like my kid doesn't ever do an activity outside of the home that doesn't involve us. Um, and not that I don't love my child and that I, I you know, I, I don't want to spend time with her. But every parent needs a break. And when your kid is home every single day and you are home every single day. Like my husband and I don't work outside of the home. So we're home with her every single day. And it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, so, sorry to, like, dampen the mood there, you guys. Um, but I got to go live with Grace from True Artist DP. Uh, if you guys did not see that, I did it on Instagram. Um, 
It was such a fun little interview. She showcased a new canvas from her shop. If you have not purchased from her before, she has a shop on Etsy. She has a lot of um, local and U.S.-based artists that she hires to do um, diamond painting. Sorry, I was looking over there for another color. And it just... The canvas is perfect for Alice in Wonder Wonderland, and it featured immediately after, and you guys, I got a sneak peek. So, that will be coming live to the channel this week, um, and I have, uh, we are graciously giving one away as one of the prizes for, um, Alice in Winter Wonderland. Unfortunately, that prize will only be available to, a uh, U.S. winner. She said she does ship internationally, however, because of, like, the VAT tax and how much, um, Etsy charges for certain things, a lot of people end up paying more in shipping than they do for the price of the canvas, so please do keep that in mind if you check her out and you are based somewhere outside of the U.S. A lot of these things are completely out of her control, uh, but it was, it was so much fun and it's such a great canvas and I cannot wait to see what she does with uh, this artist for the future in her shop. Um, so go check that out. Uh, I think I can probably link that down in the description. Um, if I can, I will. If I can't, um, or if I forget to, someone just remind me. But, um, so Thursday we went to visit my father-in-law and then we went and got lunch. Every single time we go visit my father-in-law, my daughter has a Mickey Mouse toolkit. And, like, it's not really a toolkit. It's, like, a play toolkit that has a hard hat and, you know, fake screws and things like that. But every single time she goes over to Grandpa's house and she fixes his bike, this kid, I'm like, either Grandpa's bike is really broken or you're a terrible mechanic. And she just looked at me. <laughs> I don't actually mean my kid's a terrible mechanic. She's four years old. But she... She gave me the dirtiest look you got. It's okay. Grandpa be breaking it. <laughs> and then my father-in-law has like a resistance band that somehow my daughter is able to break it in half and unknot it. I'm like, kid, just leave it alone. Oh, you guys, I love her. Um, but it was fun, funny. And so there was a claw machine and Briar's like, ooh, when we're done lunch, can we play that? And I've explained to her multiple times, you guys, multiple times, mommy and daddy are not claw game people. There are claw game people and there are definitely not claw game people. Like we have a friend, a former friend who every time he plays one of those, he wins. And I enjoy them. I just, I'm yeah, exactly. Me too. I'm so daddy is out there. I'm cleaning up the table. My father-in-law is paying for lunch. My husband is out at the claw machine with our daughter. So I come out and she was like, you know, that's okay, daddy. And he's like, okay, we've got one more chance. Do we want to see if mommy can try? And I'm like, all right, Briar, I'm just reminding you. Mommy is really terrible at these. I go, I pick it up. It immediately picks up the things she wants. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. And then it gets over to like the hole where it drops her and I'm like, oh my God, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Nope. I got it. <laughs> I want this dinosaur. Guys, now I'm screwed because now she's going to be like, you're lying, mommy. I know you can win these. And, um, I'm like, crap. But, and it didn't take, like, sometimes people will play and play and play until they just are like, okay, here, it's a lot of money. Nope. We put $2 in and she won this dinosaur, which she was super excited about um i think it's sleeping in her room with her right now but you guys moral of the story i'm screwed because now this is going to be like an expectation and i honestly could not tell you the last time i ever won something from a claw machine and i think it was one of those ones where it was like everybody wins something you just keep going and if not then they drop like a candy uh <laughs> and then that night was my daughter woke up at like 1.30 in the morning. We don't know why. Um, and my husband made the, I think we can call it the mistake of going in there and saying, okay, well, I'm going to lay down with you. 
which turned into three hours of my daughter running around in her bedroom while daddy is laying on the floor on a mattress. Well, he went and got the mattress, but like a mattress that's not, it's crap. And he said she finally fell asleep like 4 or 4.30 in the morning and then woke up her regular time and was ready for the day. I was like, Ugh. which needles to say. And yes, I know that the saying is needless to say before someone says something. Um, she was kind of a butthole the next day because she was exhausted. However, she did crash and take a nap, which, you know. Um, but Friday we watched the opening ceremony of the Olympics. Um, okay, yeah, go ahead. If you guys hear like a sound in the background, it sounds like a hairdryer. It's my husband's heat gun. Um, and it was funny. So I was talking to my mom. And she was asking me all these things. Oh, did you see this in the opening ceremony and this in the opening ceremony? And I'm like, look, mom, if there was too much of a lull, like I've got a four-year-old at the helm here. I She was bored. I had to change it. I had to fast forward. She's talking about all these moments. And I was like, I didn't see any of this. And then I was talking to her. Um, I'll leave you with, I guess, one of my Oh Allison moments. And we were talking to her. You know, my husband does a lot of his digital work for his business on his phone. Um, he makes boxes, he creates images, he creates flyers, all that stuff is done on his phone. And every single time my husband needs to be on his phone to do something, and usually he will let Briar know, like, Daddy has to get some work done, I'll read a book to you in ten minutes, whatever it is, um... That's when she no longer cares about what anybody else is doing. She has to be all over daddy. So I was trying to do something and she was all over me. And I was like, girl, I just read you like the Highlights Magazine for the 15th time. I just read you the uh, Luchadora book. Like I just, I, mommy needs to get this done. And she was all over me and such a pain in the butt. And I was like, kid... Like, you literally do not care what I'm doing unless my undivided attention is not on you. Which is weird, because, like, normally she could care less if mommy's paying attention to her. Unless nobody else is. Okay? So my mom goes, well, have you told her? Just tried telling her? Mommy's busy right now. And I'm like, oh my god, what a light bulb moment. I've never tried telling her that. <laughs> As if my husband and I just sit there and let her run the roost without saying, Briar, I just need 10 minutes, or go do this, or whatever it may be. You guys, my husband, when he falls asleep on the couch, that's the moment my daughter needs to be all over daddy. Daddy needs to hold this toy. Daddy does not need to hold this toy. He's sleeping. No, daddy can hold this. Which is why she piled a bunch of toys on him the one time he fell asleep. But, um, yeah, I was super excited. So, we watched some of the events, and now she wants to see the ski jumping, and the speed skating, and bobsled, and of course, none of those were up at that time, but now we've gotten to see um, the downhill ski jumping, as opposed to, like, the aerial ski jumping. Um, we watched a little bit of snowboarding today, some speed skating, we watched some men's figure skating, a little bit of ice dancing, a little bit of curling, and you guys, every single sport, I want to do this. I'm going to snowboard, I'm going to ski, I'm going to do this. I'm like, okay, you can do that. Um, my husband is not a snow or winter, well, person in general, but definitely not a snow or winter sport person. Um, like, mommy is the one who gets her dressed and ready to go for ice skating and her skates on like my husband can do it like if I was like hey babe um I think he would question himself on her ice skates if they were tight enough just because he's got big hands and he wants to make sure and blah blah anyway um so really the next day was just spent watching some more olympics but uh I guess this is probably a good place to uh, leave you guys, I have placed, <coughs> excuse me, another crystal star. I am, oh my God, did I just put the wrong crystal down? Yep. Please don't tell me I did. Oh my God, did I put the wrong crystal down, you guys? 
shoot. Okay, so turns out I just put the wrong crystal down. Um, and to be completely honest with you, I think I might just leave that. Because, <laughs> like, if you're looking at it... So what you're saying is you didn't put the wrong one uh, down. This is 603 which I wanted to use for the bat ears, and I opted not to. And this is 209. 209 is purple. The problem is, if I take these off, the silver backing sometimes sticks to the canvas. Um, so if it's problematic, then it'll be more difficult. So we'll check it out. Um, so you guys may or may not ever notice if this is pink or purple, but, uh, I guess only time will tell when I do the post review on this. I cannot believe I just did that. Uh, so that's it. That's, <laughs> that's all I got. What a surprise. I'm leaving you guys in a note where I'm rambling and I screwed up something. Story of my life. I'm gonna get out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come. Join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record when my tiny humans are sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys! Mm -hmm.